Okay, let's take a speed run through setting things up with uh, dual rates. We're going to set switch D to be high and low with uh, this weight and expo for each of the uh, modes. And we're going to use flight modes 1 and 2, storing the weight and expo in the global variables 1 and 2. So first, let's set up flight mode 1. We're going to set that to switch D. And we're going to set global variables 1 to be own and 100. And global variable 2, which is expo, that'll be own and 30. Oh, no, I think we said we'd make that 40, so I'm going to set that to 40. Okay, we'll come back to flight mode 2, but that's how you set up a flight mode. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to just change the aileron here. Edit. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick the weight to be global variable 1. And we're going to pick the expo to be global variable 2. Both of those are by doing a long press. So there you see we have the 100% throws with 30% expo. Now let's jump over to another model where I've uh, tediously typed in all this stuff. And look at things. Okay, here you can see on flight modes I've done uh, things like add the uh, mode name, given the global variables uh, their names, weight, and expo. I have filled in flight mode 2 so that it's not switch D up. So that'll, that'll take care of the middle and down positions. And set in 60 and 30 as the values. And... On inputs, I went ahead and, and modified aileron, uh, elevator, and rudder to be all the same. And you'll see if we look at those screens, we'll see that instead of being the G1 and the G2, we'll see that those are WEI and the EXP. And we can flip those and see those are indeed changing. And if we go back to the main screen, we'll see the mode names displayed, high rate and low rate. And if we pull the sticks, we'll see that those are changing for high rate and low rate. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to set up dual rates uh, using flight modes.